So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to start off with a shin box drill. And what I do with this is I give it to every single one of my clients because it really opens up the hip, open up the thoracic spine, right? And when joints that are mobile, that need to be mobile, it's going to help the joints that are stable stay to be stable, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to come on our side and you guys are going to kind of mimic me. So you guys can go ahead and spread around the floor a little bit. We're going to come on our side like this, kind of like in a sleepy position, right? We're going to try to keep our knees down. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to really open up our hand and try to touch it to the floor behind us. And then we're going to bring it back and together. We're going to do about five repetitions there. Three, four, Five. Good, then we're going to go to the other side, and we're going to hit another five. And if you get to a place that's stuck, breathe out, use your breath, because if you keep air inside, it's going to restrict you a little bit. Okay, once you've got five there. We're going to come back to center, arms still out into a T. You're going to keep your shoulders down. What you're going to do is you're going to rotate your knees to one side and then to the other side. And the biggest key is leaving the shoulder blades down so that way you get that contralateral stretch through the obliques and you can feel it all the way up the shoulder if you really tighten your shoulders. How we doing? I give it the male legs down. Please. Oh, you do? Okay. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to take our left foot, our left ankle, and put it on our right knee. And then we're going to let that knee fall inwards and then back to center. You're going to do five there, keeping those arms again straight down. And you're really going to take that top foot and try to pull that knee to the ground as far as comfortable. Now another thing to really pay attention to, if there's any pain, don't go into pain. So if you can only go to here before pain kicks in, that's fine, then come back up. If you can only do a small range of motion before pain kicks in, that's fine, go back up. Don't go into that pain. <clears throat> Then you're going to take your foot and you're going to move it out just about six inches. And then you're going to repeat five internal rotations. And then we're going to do it again one more time, taking that foot out another six inches. So that way my hip and knee are in a line at the end and hit five there. And then once you're ready, we're just gonna switch sides and repeat the same motions. So we're gonna do five with the foot straight underneath us. Move out six inches, another five. And then move out another six inches for another five. Okay. Make sure everybody's done. Okay, then we're going to take our feet, bring them just a little bit wider in hip width. Arms again out into a T, and you're going to let your knees fall to one side, and then fall to the other side. So you're just going to window wipe five each way.
Good, then we're just gonna roll to our side, push ourselves up, and come on up slowly, especially if you have any dizziness or anything like that. You're like gonna use the rear, then you're gonna come down, and you're gonna test again, see how much further you go. How many people got a good result out of that? Good there, good there, good there. Awesome.